Hi, this is Kei Taiwo with Vision Guided Life. Is climate change the religion of our times? Stay tuned. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, AOC, made an alarming statement that if climate change wasn't addressed, the world would end in 12 years. The world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. Also, teenage activist Greta Thunberg said if we don't address climate change, we are robbing her of a future. This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Yet, you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. How dare you? How dare you? There indeed is rich irony in all this. In the 1970s, we were warned of an ice age, global cooling. See the cover of Time magazine. Watch this clip. If we are unprepared for the next advance, the result could be hunger and death on a scale unprecedented in all of history. What scientists are telling us now is that the threat of an ice age is not as remote as they once thought. During the lifetime of our grandchildren, Arctic cold and perpetual snow could turn most of the inhabitable portions of our planet into a polar desert. In 1977, the worst winter in a century struck the United States. The last clip featured the late actor Leonard Nimoy, popularly known as Spock, of the TV series Star Trek. He says that scientists warn of an ice age. Ironically, his grandchildren today are being warned not of an ice age level extinction, but of a sort that is actually opposite of what they predicted in the 70s. That is, one of rising temperatures leading to mass extinction like AOC alludes to. Wow, we survived global cooling. Let's see if we survive global warming as the clock ticks towards 2031. Al Gore, who is not a scientist but a politician, authored an apocalyptic book and movie titled An Inconvenient Truth. It was reported that a hotel in California replaced Gideon Bibles with Al Gore's book. That's quite the statement. There's a 75% chance that the entire North Polar Ice Cap during summer, during some of the summer months could be completely ice-free within the next five to seven years. Bob used the figure of 2030, and the volumetric analysis leads this uh, Dr. Maslowski to make that projection. According to Foundation for Economic Education, Fee.org, Gore's office soon issued a statement saying the 75% figure was a ballpark figure Dr. Maslowski had used in a casual conversation with Gore several years earlier. Fortunately, both Gore and Maslowski were wrong. In 2021, the Arctic sea ice extent was 4.72 million square kilometers, about 11% more than the 4.16 million kilometers in 2007, according to NASA's estimates. The Bible says in Psalm 24 verse 1, 4, and 6, The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. He that had clean hands and a pure heart, who had not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, this is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. So the ultimate plan of God is that we seek him, not his creation. We are owners of nothing, but stewards of everything. We, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. We don't own it. The Lord owns it. But ultimately, our allegiance is to the God of creation, not just creation itself. Here is a clincher. 
Romans chapter 1, verse 22 to 23 and 25 in the Amplified Bible. Claiming to be wise, they became fools. Professing to be smart, they made simpletons of themselves. And by them, the glory and majesty and excellence of the mortal God was exchanged for and represented by images resembling mortal man and birds and beasts and reptiles because they exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worshipped and served the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. So be it. So we see that it's possible to elevate the creature over the creator. And that is the trend that we are seeing in our society. As believers, especially young people who are on social media, TikTok and the like, there's a drive to have a passion about our climate. But where is that passion for Christ? God has to be in his rightful place and then every other thing will take its rightful place. But if we remove God from the picture, something else will fill that void. And when something else fills that void, it's an idol. Remember to like, subscribe, and click on the bell so you will never miss any episode from our channel. God bless you.